round Here we go. number four underway. 30 minutes on the clock. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. What is a Sableye? This is the Sableye from the Sword and Shield base. Oh, no, expansion. I know what it does. This card's crazy. But Jolteon looks like it's our active player right now. So let's go ahead and put that Jolteon right on the screen for us. This is the one that says basics can't do any damage to it after it attacks, right? Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Oh my gosh. Thunderous, or Thunderous, Thunder Spear is the attack on this Pokemon. This attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon, so it's just a, kind of a uh, put 20 wherever you'd like. Not really relevant. We are playing this card for its VMAX. So, just a dropping of Sobble and a pass from Nico. Avery for two cards. Oh, it is the Rapid Strike. Or three cards, rather, sorry. With the Sableye? I'm so confused. This deck looks cool. This deck looks spicy. Quick ball coming out from On Guard here, discarding that, uh, sorry, that Pal Pad, grabbing a Sobble, or thinking about it at least. And we do see Level Ball in the hand as well. Usually we take Level Ball as a target for Drizzile in later turns. So this turn will be dedicated to On Guard, probably getting a little bit of information out of his deck here. So this Level Ball will, in fact, either search. And, okay, another so he's Drizzile? another Sobble, or I don't, I don't or know if he's Sobble. playing um, the Octillery line because it, I did see Rapid Strike Energy flash through the deck, so we we could in fact see an Octillery later in the Man, game. That sounds like a lot of Pokemon to set up, though, if you ask me. I agree. There's the Urshifu with the Darkness. Oh man, Nico's like no way. And just a pass. A Jolteon, Jolteon and a Vmax already. Level Ball coming out. We're gonna find that Drizzile. I'm pretty sure. Man, this Inteleon line is just absolutely incredible. And so the idea here, what uh, Nico would like to do this turn, is find the Lightning Energy and find the Elemental Badge. Elemental Badge is a tool card dedicated specifically for some of the evolutions that came out in the Evolving Skies expansion. Elemental Badge does say that your Jolteon V, your Flareon V, and your Vaporeon V's attacks cost one less. And this also applies for the V Maxes as well. Oh, that's so, cool. So Max Thunder Rumble can get in there for just one Lightning and deal 100 to the active and 100 to wherever else on oh, the bench. Does 100 and 100 snipe? That's pretty good. And without having, um, there's no, I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't think On Guard's gonna be playing Mana Fee either again. I don't like, think so. I don't know why that card isn't seeing more play. I guess a lot of people are just on the fact of like, okay, there's That's no shot ugly. people are gonna play. No, it's just ugly. Really? It's Mana Fee. It's only this big. It's a little water drop. He's like that big, probably. Yeah, he's you know? not that big. Yeah, That's maybe. a good Pokemon. It does bench barrier. He's not Buzzwool. That is true. Nothing will ever be Buzzwool, but, you know, All right, we, we can't just wish for things. Alright, we here. Out of Nico. Bottoming that one card. What? That art looks incredible. That is the Champion's Path full art, if I'm not mistaken. That's a cool one. Kind of looks like a secret rare. Oh, what a cool hand On Guard actually just drew. Flash energy? No, that's not flash energy. Swift energy? Speed energy? What is speed it? energy, yep. Speed when you attach speed? this uh, special energy to one of your lightning Pokemon, you just draw two cards off of it. It's pretty good. Incredible. I love it. What you draw two cards, so you're just getting more cards out of your deck, putting them into your hand. Now he's able to attack for one energy, right? Taylor Swift energy? I agree. And trying to find the elemental badge next, but unfortunately we're not seeing it in this hand. And oh, just a pass. Big pass. But Nico, not really too worried at the moment. This Sableye is in the active. On guard, we'll have to find some way to get it out, whether it be a if, switching card if or only he could just search is. his deck for any card. Yeah, I know. Like, what <laughs> if what if we had a format where there was just an evolution line of Pokemon? I don't know. Like, maybe one of the starter Pokemon, I guess, from sure. the latest game. And uh, that starter Pokemon just says like, when you evolve into the first one, search for whatever you want, and then when you evolve into the next one, search for whatever you want. Two of whatever you want. Yeah, two of whatever you want. That that'd be, be that'd be some great. R&D. Oh, here we go. Just Nico's head dropping in shame, just not being able to do anything about this. Taylor Swift is tier one. I agree. I strongly agree. And here is the Rapid we Strike. We see Ongar took three prizes here. It looks like he only took two, though. Isn't Wasn't that a VMAX? It was, in fact, a VMAX. Um, let me... Yeah, go, go and make sure that that's what it was. It's just the way so that he had him set up? Yeah, it's okay. Three. It just looked like they were too far apart from each other. 
and right there immediately coming in with that. Uh, I, I, he didn't even use um, Urshifu VMAX, so actually, let's take Just a look at that. Just the baby Urshifu. We are indeed a Zul cultured. <laughs> we love T Swift here on this stream. So Rapid Strike Urshifu just came in with that hundred Furious Blows for 150 damage. That's Feeling false advertisement. 300. Yeah, that's a false advertisement. It is indeed a false advertisement. 100 Furious Blows? Why does it do 150? Well, the Furiousness adds the 50, right? Because oh, okay, okay. there's 100 normally, but then he got Furious and added an extra 5 in there. I think you're wrong. That's fine. All right. And All right. there goes another Zig Zagoon. Let's put down some 10 damage counters. Ooh, okay, so actually, I explained Jolteon incorrectly. Um, so it does go um, 100 and 100, but the Pokemon that it hits has to have damage counters on it already, so oh, that's why we're that's playing why these Galarian Zigzagoons to literally just drop a 10 on there so we could start hitting whatever we'd like. I wonder if that means Nico's playing like a heavy line of boss's orders. Hit one, boss's orders, hit the other one. Interesting. Yo, thanks. I found it on YouTube. It's literally like some cowboy bebop lo-fi study beats to relax to and whatever it's called. Those One of those things. Bowboy kebop. Bowboy kebop. And Nico did find that elemental badge. So his Jolteon VMAX's attacks are costing one less right now. So let's see if Nico... I mean, is Nico... It would be good to know if Nico was playing some... Oh, there's, there's energy in his hand. Never mind. Second Jolteon hitting the board, then there's that turf or that speed lightning. Speed. Drawing bosses. And a path to, to the peak. peak, dude. So Oh, that's really good here. Well. Nico taking one knockout here and hunting on the active. What does Path to the Peak do in this matchup? Um, Cole won't be able to uh, crow under it, but oh, and that didn't even matter though. Yeah, yeah sorry. This was game. So Nico getting the down pair and into a matchup that's not favorable for him. He still has a chance. He just has to win his next one. 3-1-1 could make it if he ties into the next one.